Lindy, obviously, Dougie's had a great year, and he's topped it off with these last two. What has his play meant to this team? What makes this team better because of what he's been able to do this year? Well, you know, when you're looking at offense and uh, you've got a shot like, like Doug has, and he gets, he gets pucks through, he's one guy that you know, doesn't get a lot blocked. Um, and when he gets in that key area, you know, like the last two goals, uh, he's been able to hit his mark. Um, you know, I think the the one six on five goal. You know, we got a little bit fortunate, but again, he's he's a guy that is well aware of getting pucks to the net. Uh, doesn't miss the net that often, which I think is 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 really a talent. Uh, so w- we knew that going in, he was a he was good at what at what he does, and you know that coupled with working working away from the puck. Uh, him and Siegenthaler have been a good pair for us. We know about the injuries last year, so obviously that's going to affect his play. But did you sense any determination on his part to show this year really the player he was, that last year was just an aberration? Yeah, you, you know, I think that the injury did. It probably weighed heavier on, on him than, than we re- realized. Uh, you know, wearing the mask vision-wise, I think, you know, created just created some bad habits. Uh, Created some tentative play at times, uh, but you know what we're getting now is what we want to see. I don't know if you'll use the same lines that you had at practice yesterday, but my point is, you had Sharon Govich centering the other night, and then he was out in overtime a little bit. Uh, it appears he might be on the wing here, but at a higher role. Are you trying to get him unlocked a little bit because he's been kind of stuck offensively? Yeah, you know, I think you you look at you know what what he can bring, um, and and offensively. You know, obviously, we'd like to see more. Uh, his penalty killing has been been good. Um, you know, where our penalty king, killing is as at as a team is, you know, part of reflection on uh, the amount of minutes he's played. Uh, but we know what he can bring offensively. I think that uh, guys like Cher that uh, will need to get out of a you know a scoring scoring rut. Sometimes they're going to have to get tighter to the net. They're going to—I mean, he had a tip goal, you know, a couple goals ago, um, and the inside opportunities have to get have to get greater. Uh, you know, you can use the word ugly, tougher. Uh, uh, those are the type of situations that he's going to have to put himself into. When you look on the back end, and obviously John Marino getting closer and closer to a return, what is? this moment like for a player like Kevin Ball and Nikita, knowing that the numbers game will eventually possibly not be in their favor? Yeah, well, I mean, just take advantage of uh, when you play. You know, I think they've both given us good play. Um, They've both helped us win games. Uh, It's not easy to just step in and be a defenseman in this league. It it takes a good number of games. It takes a couple years before you understand uh, the patient part, the, the awareness part, the getting used to the speed up here versus American League speed. Uh, And I think both guys uh, have gotten a good taste of that. Is there a difference between the way you guys are playing now versus the last time you played Nashville? Maybe what's the difference that you see in your team? Uh, You know, I don't don't think we're trying to play any different. Um, You know, I think when when you look at our game uh, at a whole, we're trying to create opportunities in different ways. Uh, and we've got to continue to you know, get better with some of our wall play. I think that's part of the game that uh, we're looking at trying to improve and uh, create more speed off of uh, you know, winning battles, having guys uh, supporting pucks, and uh, driving through up ice. Just for Brad's longest stretch this season, we've had a point in four games. So he's been very consistent. He'll miss one, two here and there, but he's been very consistent in putting up points. What's going to be key to that consistency? Well, you know, again, I think it. Uh, sometimes it's your line mate. Sometimes it's the power play. Uh, you know, power play is is an opportunity if you if you really bear down and, and where he's playing on the flank. There's opportunities for points every night. Um, you know, his entries, getting it in the zone, the recoveries. You recover the puck, you get it back to the defenseman who shoots it, and if it gets tipped or there's a rebound, you're you're automatically getting a point. So there's different ways for for skill guys. Uh, to get on the score sheet, especially when you're you're playing on uh, your number one power play unit. About ready for a 60-minute game, I imagine, at this point? Um, 
We'll, we'll take whatever game. I, I can guarantee if we play more than 60, we're getting a point. <laughs> so I, if you said ready for a 65 or a 64, I would take that too. What, uh, what have you guys done, done well with the, you know, the record in overtime? Anything in particular that, that stood out? No, I, I'm, I just, I'm a little bit more impressed with being able to stay around and get to overtime, you know, or battle back and get to overtime because those points are big. I think any team looks at it if you, if you get there. Uh, it's an important point. And then, you know, we've got good skill, good speed in, in overtime. I think we have some guys that can, can dominate puck play, hang on to it for long periods of time. Uh, and then, you, you know, I've, we've got a couple power plays in overtime that have helped us. You, you get into power play in overtime, that's really what you want to take advantage of. I've seen a lot of teams lately really try to clog up the middle against you guys. When a team's really trying to take the middle away, what becomes important to, to counteract that? Fight harder to get through it. Uh, play quicker. Fight harder. Um, don't get frustrated. Uh, know that uh, know what's coming at you. Know what they're doing. Uh, and I think our support around the puck has to be really good. So I, I don't want to see a guy 30, 40 feet away if... Uh, if we have to get it by somebody, I want to see somebody close by that can put uh, pressure on the next guy.